Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look and see how to enable and disable publications in Liferay DXP. And as we do, we'll talk through a number of things we'll need to consider. Let's go ahead and get started. And as always, thank you for watching. Starting off, you're going to want to make sure you're logged in as your admin user. Once you're logged in, we'll head over to the global menu here at the top right. Under the Applications section, we'll then select Publications. Once we select Publications, to enable publications is as simple as toggling the slider and then clicking Save. And just like that, we've enabled publications. Now let's talk through a number of things you'll need to consider before enabling publications. The first is whether or not you're using staging. Staging and publications cannot be enabled at the same time. So if you're using staging, you'll first want to publish your changes and then disable staging so that you can enable publications. The second thing you'll want to consider is whether or not you want to use sandbox mode. Sandbox mode is a way to prevent users from accidentally working in production. What sandbox mode does is force users into the publication they were last working on. And if they haven't been working in a publication, Liferay will create one for them and send them over to that newly created publication. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see how to disable publications. Disabling publications will follow the same steps as we took to enable them. So I'll head over to the global menu here at the top right and then into publications. From here, we'll select the options menu followed by settings. And then from here, all we need to do is toggle the slider and then click save. And just like that, we've disabled publications. Now there's a number of things we need to consider when disabling publications. The first is we are unable to access our publications. As you can see on the current screen, I'm unable to go through any of the tabs that we saw previously when publications was enabled. That means we're unable to see the access history or see any scheduled publications. Speaking of scheduled publications, another thing we need to consider is whether or not we have any publications scheduled to be published. When we disable publications, any scheduled publications are automatically canceled. So before disabling publications, we'll want to make sure that anything that's scheduled is either published or not needed. And the last consideration before disabling publications is just the assurance that all of our publications are still there. Once we re-enable publications, any publications that we have that we were working on or any of the history that we want to see in previous publications can still be accessed. So that's it for enabling and disabling publications. And I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.